What is up guys, welcome back to a new video and today what I'm going to be showing you is how to install the Apple software beta program on your Mac. So don't forget to belt that like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. So let's get started. So guys what you first want to do is you want to head to Safari. Once you do that you want to search the Apple software beta program. Now once you do that you want to hit search. Now you want to click on the first one, the official um, Apple website as well. Now once that loads, you want to scroll down guys to where it says get started. It's going to come up with a few Apple pictures. Now guys, it's going to prompt you to sign in. So I'm going to sign in, um, I'm going to blur this out though, I'm going to sign in with my account. But if you don't have an account, to the left it says if you don't have an Apple ID, you can create one now. So if you don't have one, just pr press create one now. So guys, I'm going to press sign in. Now it's going to prompt you um, with verify your identity. It's going to either come up on your iOS device or your Mac device or your, yep. Yeah. And you want to press allow. Now, where it prompts you to um, enter in the um, s um, six digits, you want to enter it there. Now, you want to press continue. Now, once you have pressed continue, it's going to go to the guide for public betas. Now, it's going to come with macOS, iOS, or tvOS. Today, I'm going to do macOS. I'll cover iOS and tvOS in a different video. Now, guys, you want to scroll down. Now, it's really, really really important to back up your Mac. Most of the time it does it mostly works and nothing goes wrong, but sometimes for instance some files you may lose or something like that. So it's good to back up your Mac. So once you've backed up your Mac off under get started, you want to click on enroll your Mac. Now once you press that, you want to scroll down, it's going to prompt you with back up your Mac again just to make sure. Now under that it's going to say Enroll your Mac and underneath it, it's going to say download the macOS public beta access utility. Now you want to press that, it's going to start the download. Now once it has downloaded, you want to click up here and you want to double click on it. Now it's going to verify attaching and then it's going to check volumes and everything. Now once that's finished guys, you want to open up the file that you have downloaded. Now guys, it's going to um, prompt me that I have not backed up my Mac but it, this will not come up if you have backed up yours. Now I'm going to press continue guys and then if you want to go through the um, software license, agree license agreement you can go through there. Then we'll press continue then agree. Now once you press install it will prompt you to put in your um, Mac password so I'm going to put in my Mac password. Now once you've done that guys it's going to install it. It might take a few seconds and now guys once this is installed it's going to say the installation was successful and you, once you press close you can either um, keep the installer or move it to the bin. I'm going to move it to the bin because it's just going to hang around on your desktop. Now once you do that guys, um, it is installed. Finally it is installed. Now I'm going to show you a few new things in macOS um, Mojave um, and in the beta. So once you have the beta, first things first, if you're on macOS High Sierra, you first thing uh, you'll go to the software update and you'll um, update to the latest version of macOS Mojave. Now, guys, I have an update here that I have not updated. So, if you're doing this in a later video, there'll probably be an update um, later than this. So, um, once you update that, it'll get you to the latest um, update. Now, guys, once you've done that, these are the new things. So, yeah, um, just pretend uh, I've got this uh, stacked. If you don't use stacks, I can just put it anywhere. Just pretend all your files are, I just drag that one onto there and see how your files are all just everywhere. You put two fingers onto the desktop, you go use stacks and it's going to automatically stack up and you cannot move them anywhere. So that's a useful uh, stacking tool to keep your desktop nice and tidy. Now the next new thing is, if you go to um, the little Apple icon or the system preferences um, icon on the bottom, now there's a couple of new things here. From this interface you got software update. This is a big new feature that you can quickly go um, to check your new software updates. Now guys another new thing is your profiles. You've got your profile um, icon here and it's going to show you all the profiles that you have installed on your Mac. 
and it's not going to come up if you, ha if you have not installed any profiles on your Mac. Now under general, there's a new feature called appearance. Now appearance is going to show you how you want your Mac to look either in light mode or dark mode. If you've got a light mode, this is the usual um, mode that Mac um, um, used to be. So if you go in here um, to a normal, to a white, if you go into like maybe uh, maps, to a white, normal color. Now guys, if you want dark mode, big, big thing about dark mode is saves a lot, a lot of battery. So guys, dark mode is the thing to use. Now guys, and if you go into maps again, it's going to be in dark mode. So that's pretty cool. Now guys, uh, uh, there's two new apps on the Mac. So if you go into your launch pad, the first one is voice memos. It's just like on the iOS um, devices, you can record your voice. So that's pretty cool. It's got all the um, settings up the top and everything, and you can save them too. Then the next uh, new um, app is Home. Now, um, it's on your iOS devices as well. You can control your lights your TVs and um, your HomePod and everything from this. You've got automation, you got Home. Um, your devices will all come up down here that you have added to your phone because they're all connected to the same iCloud. So yeah, guys. Um, I hopefully I are. Oh, and one more thing, guys. If you go to Shift to Preferences or Change Desktop, there's a few new wallpapers in the latest macOS Mojo. Oh, uh, we've got a couple new wallpapers. Like this is one. These are another ones. They're they're actually really really cool. So yeah, guys. Uh, I hope I covered uh what the title said in the video today. Don't forget to leave a like if this actually helped you. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next video.